Hi, my name is Gene Allen, and in this video we're going to talk about deploying works, FileShare Workstation to a clean machine and troubleshooting connection-related issues. Um, I have a remote desktop machine set up here. It's called Win 7 VM. This is a clean Windows 7 Enterprise machine. The machine I'm coming from is a Windows Vista machine. So if we go over here and we say Workstations Manage, and we want to manage this machine, you can see that I've already added it. And it's going to come up and it says, I don't, it's going to say I can't find it sooner or later. It has to do a refresh. And we're trying to give you actual status. First thing it comes up with is it says machine unreachable. unreachable. So what's happening is FileShare is attempting to ping the machine. Well, by default, Windows Vista and Windows 7 turn off ping with the firewall. So we're going to have to turn on. We, we could either turn off the complete firewall altogether, which a lot of people don't like to do. So we're going to go through and do, do it by hand. Uh, let's see, where's firewall security? There it is. And we're going to go to firewall. Allow program through firewall. And what we want, actually what we want, is we don't want to allow a program, but we're going to have to do an advanced feature here. Advanced setting. As you can tell, this is a VM. That's the reason why it's running so slowly. There we go, and we want a new inbound rule. Right click, right click. Oh, it has to load them. There we go. New rule. There might be one already, and we want program to be all programs. Um, actually, we want a custom rule. So we say next, all programs. We don't care about that. Ports and paths, and what we want is ICMP4. And that's all there is to it. You said next, any IP to any IP, uh, action, allow the connection. Um, we really only want it for the domain, probably, although it doesn't really hurt, so why not just leave it on? And unblock ping. Okay, so now ping has been unblocked, and what's going to happen is that FileShare is going to be able to reach the machine in a few seconds. So let's delete this. In a few seconds, this will refresh, and you'll see it's going to come up with a new error. And the new error is going to say, um, I can't get to, it's going to be WMI access. There it is, WMI access. And the reason is, is that Windows is blocking WMI access. So we'll close this down, and we're going to do this one this way. Allow program our Windows feature through the firewall. And if we come down, remember this is a clean machine, remote desktop is going to be turned off. There it is. So turn that on. All right. So now we say, okay. And if we give FileShare a few seconds, it's going to come up and say, hmm, and then it's going to say it can't find Filter Manager. Now, what that's going to require, as it gets to it, it's going to have to refresh in a few seconds. Uh, we don't we don't pull the machine constantly because we don't want to sit there and hammer everything. So I think it's like every 15, 20 seconds that it goes through and checks the status of the various machines that are in deployment. And there it is. The Filter Manager not installed. Now, what's happening here is FileShore is attempting to locate the filter manager on the remote machine. And since it's being denied, again, by the firewall on Windows 7, file access, it can't find them. So we'll start up the firewall advanced again, and we're going to say, there it is, file and print sharing. So in other words, the, the console machine can't read the files on the remote machine because it's turned off. So we're going to turn that feature on. And then we'll go back over here, and in a few minutes it's going to say, I can't uh, access the remote registry. So we'll just sit here for a few seconds while FileShore refreshes, and then we'll go on to the next step. And there's the error for that one. It's saying unable to access the remote registry on this machine. Now, if we come back over here, that's really not a firewall problem. This is, by default, Windows doesn't have the remote registry service turned on. So if we come over here to, what is it, manage? There we go. Right click on my computer and go to manage. And we go down to the services. When this incredibly fast machine comes up, there we go. We open services, click on the services applet, and we come down to remote registry. There it is. And we just start the search. Well, actually, we're going to right click on it and change the property so it automatically starts automatically and then we start it all right so and we're good close that and we close the services and we shut this down 
and now FileShare has detected that it's unmanaged. So we click it and make it managed. It's marked for deployment. And we just click the deploy remove, which means it'll go through and you know deploy things that need to be deployed, remove it from wherever it needs to be removed, on and on. So right now it's going through and it's copied the files over and it's currently installing FileShare on this machine, or well, on the remote machine, the workstation. And you can see that nothing, nothing magical is happening over here. It's just, you know, it's all happening behind the scenes. And the credentials that it's using are the ones that I entered earlier. It's my domain. It's actually the user that is logged onto this computer. It's credentials. It doesn't use the services. It uses the ones for this machine. So I'm logged in as a domain administrator. That allows me to get to all these machines. So if you have a domain permissions problems, make sure that you have physical access to those remote machines. So we'll just sit here and let it install for a few seconds. It's usually pretty quick. So, but that other machine is not too fast, but there it is. So uh, we successfully installed, it's a managed workstation version 2.5.0 uh, 10.13. And that's all there is to it. So anyway, let me recap all this. Uh, we started and I shut up. We had several problems with the firewall on the remote machine. And as you can see, it's still just here. If we were to actually start it up, you can see that it's running here. So we go to Task Manager. Uh, this has actually got UAC installed on it by default. And so we go to the processes. You won't see it there, but if we show all of them, it checks to see I'm an administrator. And then we'll come down to the magic service, which is that one right there. And the file sure, if we expand this out, the file sure filter processor. So at this point, we had several problems with the firewall and one service wasn't running. But as soon as we fixed those problems, um, FileShare was able to manage the workstation just fine. If we were to click this and click the deploy button, button, it would go through and remove it from that machine.